Seven local news. On the eve of the Crocs clash with Sydney, there's bad news for injured captain Russell Hinder. Doctors have confirmed he won't be able to play this season. Scans revealed the veteran's leg still hasn't healed. It's the answer Russell Hinder didn't want to hear. Yeah, well, I asked him flat out, will I play this year? And he said no. With his season over, questions remain over his long-term playing future. And you have to look at if it stopped healing now, maybe this might be it. And uh, that's not something you really want to think about. The news shattered teammates. Very tough because uh, over the years, Rusty and I have grown pretty close and uh, have a really good friendship. And you know, I was I was looking forward to this year, kind of working under Rusty, learning all the ways that he's such an inspirational leader. Back on court, the Crocs are preparing to celebrate the club's 600th NBL match. Yeah, I feel, I feel amazing. You know, I've been probably a part of about. 300 of them, including being the spectator and, and playing. The win tomorrow night will bring the Crocs to eight for the season. It would be their best record at the halfway point in five seasons. We've got three, our next three games are at home, so they're three huge games for us. If we can win all three of them, so I think that'll put a little bit of a gap between us being at third spot and uh, fifth spot. First up, there's the Kings. They arrived without Aaron Bruce after a broken leg ended his season. I mean, Aaron offensively has been very good for us, but uh, you know, Luke Martin's been playing at a high level, so has Luke Cooper lately. So, you know, we're confident that those two will get the job done. The battle under the boards will be crucial. Three of the NBL's top five rebounders will battle it out. I'd really try to use my athleticism to my advantage, um, uh, no matter who we play. And the Kings are out for revenge. No, we own too. <laughs> Veronica Eggleton, 7 News. It'll be a big night at the Swamp. The Crocs will celebrate their 20th season in the NBL. A Legends game will be the centrepiece of celebrations. And 7 Local News was today given a first look at the Crocs Suns Legends playing kit. David Blade's joints may be a little stiff, but his shot is as sharp as ever. Oh, look, it's not too bad. I wouldn't, I'm not going to say it's, it's flash, but um, look, it's not too bad. The Croc Suns playing roster reads like a Hall of Fame. There's Pat Reedy, Rob Rose and David Blades to name a few. The NBL legends boast Andrew Gaze, Mark Bradkey and Leonard Copeland. I feel like a rookie um, going against those guys again because my first years in the NBL um, was with Pat and Rob and, and Goody. The Croc Suns jersey unveiled today pays tribute to both symbols of the club. I like it. It's nice and big too, which is good. I don't even know what we'll be running, to tell you the truth. But we've got 15 guys, so there's a lot of subs. And the trash talk has already started. Gaze is, he, you know, he's, he's a great player and he can shoot the three. And I don't think he's going to be doing anything other than shooting the three-point shot tomorrow night. So, um, you know, we're going to scout. We've scouted them heavily. As for the final score... Let's hope it's the, uh, the Crocs and Suns legends um, up by two. Tip-off is at 5.30. Entry by gold coin donation. Veronica Eggleton, 7 News.